Hey everyone, so I want to do a quick update on cold food science. For my thesis, investment thesis, I've kind of been waiting till now because once we start selling products, we should see revenues and that should see the share price go up. I was expecting that to happen in this most recent financial report that hasn't happened yet. As we can see, total revenues for the end of 2023 is nothing. Most of the revenues are coming from Nucci's. We can see here, They've now broken out their investments. Further Foods is the company that we're wanting to look at. That is the subsidiary, the brand from Cult that owns Nucci's. And we can see the cost and the current value has stayed the same. Back to when they acquired Because Animals, they did that through their subsidiary, Further Foods. And so that is what this line item is here. So... One thing to watch in future financial reports would be the Further Foods line item, but the other one, and I'm not sure how they're going to do this, but I would assume going forward as we start to sell more Nucci's that we're going to see revenue come in. Now that hasn't happened yet. They have started selling Nucci's. They have started selling their ingredients, but I guess that still isn't recognized in the, at the end of 2023. So we had about a quarter from when they launched their products in September 2023, and we had the last fourth quarter of the year. Um, so it doesn't look like they're recognizing any of that revenue. I thought they might at this point, but they haven't yet. Angel Scott has just posted a note on CEO.ca. I encourage you to follow that channel. There's a lot of great investors there talking about the company. Hi everyone, I want to share some exciting news from Cult. As you may have seen, we've just closed an 800000 Canadian dollar private placement, bringing on a number of great mission aligned strategic shareholders in the process. So they've raised another $800,000. I joined Cult because I saw a huge opportunity for the company to become a leading player in the cellular agriculture space and the future of food. These funds will allow us to make concrete steps towards that goal, including growing our new cheese pet food brand into a category leader launching additional products and brands into the pet food space, ones that we've talked about already on this channel, incorporating cultivated meat ingredients from our portfolio companies, and cultivating new partnerships in the cellular agriculture field. I'm incredibly excited at where this industry and cult is headed. I look forward to sharing more with you as things progress. Cheers, Mitchell. It makes sense that there's no revenue because they only just started selling their products um, I thought maybe they would recognize a bit, however small that may be, but hopefully we can look forward to that starting to show up in the next financial report, which based on when they've set out the other reports in previous years, we should see that come out at the end of the month. We'll see if they have anything in March. Maybe it will be the quarter after that, but surely sometime this year, we should start to see a bit more information on how that's all progressing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.